Hi, welcome Fire Signs. Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is a special weekend reading around the energy at this time. Oh, we do have an important date. So we've got the 10th of the 10th happening. So whenever we have doubles, right? Uh, in terms of the number 10, one always represents brand new beginnings. Zeros can also represent infinity, but when you put the two of them together, the zero always amplifies any number that it's with, yeah? So it can certainly represent going through change, transformation, things that you might want to kick off in your life. Um, tens also represent going with the flow, particularly any changes happening with your life. And it is a general reading, so always trust yourself what resonates. Leave what does not, and let's dive in. So in terms of fire signs, obviously we're talking to Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So we're going to pull a central energy from the uh, Nature's Whispers Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. And if you enjoy this reading, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. Um, those of you that are subscribing to my channel will instantly go into the draw to win the Oracle decks up for grabs this month. So uh, there is a, the amazing, let me hold it up for you, Sacred Rebels Oracle deck up for grabs for new subscribers. And uh, for those that do follow me regularly already, have subscribed to my channel, uh, and have done, been following me for a while, you'll go into the draw to win the Enchanted Map Oracle. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. So I will just say if you want to grab my attention, probably best to do it in the comments box below. Yeah. And uh, if you want to get notified when my videos come out, make sure to hit the notification bell, yeah, so you don't miss them. And winners are announced at the end of the month on my channel, so I forgot to mention that. All right, what do fire signs need to know? Oh, you've got expansion. It's very beautiful. There's a lot going on. So it can mean getting out of your comfort zone, trying new things this weekend that are quite adventurous. There's a beautiful, if I bring it really close, right, there's a pair of hands holding on to each other at the bottom. So it can be in terms of connecting with your partner, doing some beautiful things together. It can be dreaming of what you want to create in the future, possibly doing a bit of a, um, some quiet reflection on what it is that you want to expand in your life, particularly around your goals, your dreams, your career. Yeah. Can even be a bit of a wish list in terms of a bucket list you might want to put together. All right. We're going to have a look at four key areas of focus for you for the energies at this time with the uh, Sacred Destiny Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, you got this seeing the truth. There's a bit of a storm going on. So seeing the truth in any challenges in your life right now, looking at things that very objectively, how are you contributing? What is it? What steps can you take to sort of solve any issues, challenges in your life? You may have some revelations come to you, some breakthrough moments. Oh, Spirit's saying you're divinely protected at this time. They're absolutely watching over you. And there's a bit of a focus on love. So uh, friendships, family, love partner, you might meet new love on the weekend. Uh, there's also a need for release. So anything emotionally you need to release, uh, just to bring yourself into balance, it can be things from the past that you keep recycling through you need to let go of. Just going to amp that up some crystals. All right, let's put some guidance from the energy oracle. Firstly, about seeing the truth. All right, you got three here. Okay, some of you have got a broken heart, going through some loss right now. So you may have come out of a situation, you're single right now, possibly doing some heart healing. Um, it can be situations in your life that haven't worked out that have really affected your heart chakra. You may have physically lost someone from this world. Oh, you've got your throat chakra here. So spirit saying part of seeing the truth is how you communicate with others, where you need to speak up and express yourself. Possibly you didn't. Um, and some of you feeling a bit tied up and stuck about the situation right now. Oh, and you've got a contract coming in. So there's some sort of opportunity coming in. It can be some sort of settlement, particularly around you may be worrying about a settlement. It can be sale of an asset. It can be like big things like a home, um, divorce settlement going through, a bit of anxiety going around that. It can be an opportunity coming in. Uh, let's have a look at the broken heart. Okay. 
Got a thinking man here. So guys, being very balanced, rational. Um, it can represent a physical person to you. Let's have a look at feeling all tied up and stuck. Yeah, it's about love. You've got the angel of love. So some of you may have gone through something significant that's hurt your heart space. And I think you're trying to figure out whether or not you're ready to put yourself out there for love again, feeling maybe possibly a bit anxious about it. All right, let's have a look at this divine protection. Clearly not going to affect everyone. Oh, you've got your community here. So Spirit's saying spend some time with your friendships, your family. Can mean divine protection over your family and friends at this time. You've absolutely got the door to love that wants to open or some of you want to open that door. It's sitting directly under the angel of love. Oh, and Spirit's saying there's going to be big happy changes. The sun is going to come out. Big shift in positivity. It's also tied up to this contract coming in. You can certainly be bringing more abundance into your life. Let's have a look at love. What is it the fire signs need to know about love? Thank you. Oh, you got yin and yang. So Spirit's saying, I mean, whenever we come to any kind of love situation, to attract a very balanced partnership, we need to be in balance. Yeah, so being in a state of balance and wholeness as much as you can be. And you've got healer of the ages here. So some of you may need to seek a healer. Counseling, psychology, just to move through this heartbreak that's happened up the top to express yourself, talk to a third person, get it off your chest. It's channeling through very strongly. Um, others, there's a message that if we're talking about your life path, you're divinely gifted around your message you've got to share with the world, your throat chakra. Some of you have divine gifts and talents as an ascended master. And part of your life path is helping community and you're building a big community, yeah, you want to. And it's part of what you love doing. It's your passion. You know, Spirit's saying you just need to get into your high states of consciousness, your crown chakra. Particularly when it comes to love, don't get stuck in your root chakra, your sacral chakra. You need to elevate self out of feelings of being tied up and stuck. Yeah, because you got walking away. Yeah, walking away from anxiety, worry, um, the past. Let's have a look at release. Oh, Spirit's saying you need to take action on anything that you need to let go of that is you feeling like it's holding you back in life. you got blossoming abundance. So Spirit's saying you're on the right path. Keep moving forward around whatever you're doing around your finances to create abundance in your life. Do not give up. Do not turn back. Keep moving forward. And you just need a very clear plan and strategy um, to keep you on your path. Journaling would be really good in terms of emotional release. You do a bit of that this weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's attachments you definitely need to release from self that are holding you back a bit. Taking off the mask to see the truth of situations, what you need to release. Oh, for some of you, it's deceit. So it can be third-party stuff that happened. It can be just that you're deceiving yourself and holding yourself stuck when you don't need to, yeah? Yeah, because there's a storm warning going on, mostly around your emotions. And you've got the world, which is cycle completions. Brand new fresh starts happening, yeah? New opportunities that want to happen for you. It's about opening up to that. Always a conscious choice. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Let's have a look at the top row about seeing the truth. Um, some of you, it's definitely about doing some heart healing and opening up to love. This contract coming in. Mm, you're going through this beautiful transformation right now. Spirit saying it's going to bring great blessings into your life. And there's a true love that's going to come in. Yeah, absolutely a beautiful love coming towards you. All right, let's have a look at this divine protection, particularly around your family, your friendships, a big positive shift in optimism, door to love opening. Oh, you got vast your independence, integral part of who you are, key strength. Never apologize for it. Embrace it. Oh, and there's a golden opportunity coming in, so directly related to your career. 
Uh, that's why there's a contract there. Let's have a look at love. Some of you seeking some help in terms of bringing yourself into balance, getting over the heartache, yeah. Getting into your higher states of consciousness. Oh, you got maybe cycles and rhythms. Take time out if you're feeling tired, overly emotional, rest. Oh, there's a focus on your home right now. So you might be doing stuff around the home. Some of you might be getting out there and doing some gardening, oh, making some improvements. Some of you buying, selling, wanting to move, relocate. Might be doing a little bit of house hunting. Uh -huh. And Spirit's saying to trust your wisdom to guide you. You know what to do. Yeah, take action. Let's have a look at release, which is attachments, yeah. Letting go of old stuff. Keep moving forward. Oh, you got green Tara start delegating, asking others for help, not doing everything yourself, particularly family, friendships. And you got Lakshmi, bright future, stop worrying, spirit saying everything's gonna be fine. Mm-hmm. Beautiful confirmation of that. All right, squeeze so him guidance from the crystal reading deck which is a healing deck having a look at this top row all about this massive transformation going on for those of you that have left a relationship or lost someone love wanting to touch your life big time in a contract oh big message to be in balance the boji stones uh, it's your feminine, your masculine energy, knowing when to take action, go after what it is you want, knowing when to be in your softer, gentler side, your emotional vulnerability, your creativity, your fun. And you got petrified wood, your ancestors absolutely watching over you right now. So if you had someone pass from this world, uh, you can communicate with them. If you're feeling their presence, that presence is real. Let's have a look at this divine protection. Oh, that's flying out. Golden opportunity coming in, love. Um, you got the message to be just very flexible and patient at this time. Go with the flow. Yeah, some of you definitely need to do some heart healing. Do that work, my loves. Particularly if you want new, if you want this beautiful new love to come in and stay around. Mm -hmm. And some of you need to focus on your health and well-being, your healthy body here. So your exercise, your nutrition, your rest. Vitamin therapy's come through strongly. Let's have a look at love, <laughs> which for some of you is related to release in the past. Being in balance, you've got your home here. Doing what you love. Yeah. you got uh, compassion here, so being very kind, compassionate with yourself. Uh, you've got quartz here which is clear quartz it's all about purification so some of you physically need to look after yourself a bit better clear toxins out of your body um for others it's an emotional mental detox yeah because there's brand new beginnings that want to happen in your life particularly related to love and your home let's have a look at releasing attachments brand new cycle starting taking action bright future ahead you got three here Oh, another confirmation you got a soulmate coming in. Yep. You also got a, some of you going through a spiritual awakening, so possibly connecting more to your spiritual practices, your spiritual side, your past life information. And you got rose quartz, your inner child. Some of you going through some inner child healing. Certainly things that have happened to you through childhood that have impacted you. Um, for others, you're tapping more into your inner child, your creativity, your sense of fun, adventure. And doing creative things on the weekend would be good. All right, let's put some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Oh, you got on a gaia, so getting outside in nature, feeling the beautiful energy of it. Some of you, it's doing, you know, your part to protect Mother Earth, Mother Nature, recycling, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> let's just say that. <laughs> Hello, see yourself in nature. I'll be beautiful for you this weekend. Get outside, my love. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Get yourself out there. And absolutely spend some time to nourish your soul. Do some things that really pamper you, yeah? Particularly relaxing. And absolutely a need for you to let go of the old. On the same side as releasing all these attachments. Big message coming through. All right, let's put your crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. Oh, wow. 
you pulled the black pegasus have a look at that very powerful mm -hmm. it says my loves it says the black pegasus our fierce and loving protector and spiritual guardian brings a message of deep comfort and reassurance sometimes negativity in us or around us can become so dense that, that positive energy and lightness of heart cannot seem to penetrate it we feel disconnected from the light from hope from clarity from peace and in such times pegasus assumes the form necessary to ensure your safe passage through even the darkest night of the soul. He is always by your side. His love is unfailing in its presence and strength. And even when your conscious mind does not recognize it, his sacred protection of your soul is engaged and powerful. And we cannot know the scope of divine protection nor what is deflected through divine intervention. But we can realize that whatever is not necessary for our growth is shielded from us. The Black Pegasus is the wild spirit of the Divine Masculine, ferociously protective, blocking the progress of anything or anyone unworthy of the soul. He watches over you, trusting that you shall conquer your struggles, and he is there to remind you that you have the courage, the wisdom, and the strength to do so. Have faith that you are held in the sacred field of grace that ensures you will rise from the darkness and will once again find yourself in the peaceful, welcoming light of a new day. Oh, perfect for your reading, my loves. Mm -hmm. All right, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You'll automatically go into the competition drawers. Mm -hmm. Reach out if you feel like you need extra guidance and support with the personal reading. Info's on here and down below. There is a special offer this month. You can go and check that out. Uh, the extended version of the love reading is out for VIP members. And if you want to get hold of that and you're not a VIP member yet, just hit the join button on my channel. It's the one for October. Uh, you can also see all the member videos if you're on the home page of my YouTube channel. Scroll down. Uh, there's a whole lots of playlists and stuff going on. And there's one for member videos. So if you want to see what's happening for your star sign in the member videos, um, you can have a look at them there. VIP members, you can access them there as well as on the community tab. Uh, if you want to get a particular video, just click on it and it'll take you straight to join up. Yeah, you'll get access to all the videos, the extended versions. All right, my loves, take it easy for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.